Um, my name is Amy Hedrick. My company is Cleanbox Technology. Uh, we are a hygiene solution provider for XR uh, in enterprise, healthcare, and entertainment. So let me show you what we do. We, uh, this is a clean box right here. We decontaminate and dry headsets between users without in using any heat or liquid or toxins. So we use medical grade UVC light in an LED form, high velocity air, and a nano coating to help prevent sweat and body oils from soaking into these soft surfaces. So it's very, very simple. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, you know, there's a problem sometimes with, with things being sweaty or, you know, smelly or even the spread of contagions, which um, people have complained about from time to time. So um, our, our hooks are adjustable front and back, up and down, so that it fits any uh, major headset on the market right now. It's very simple. You hang the headset here, close the door, push the button. That's it. It's a one-minute cycle. In, based yeah. on UV? It's UVC, yes. Uh, so UVC uh, is the wavelength of light that decontaminates. And uh, the differences are A is atmosphere, uh, B is more like a tanning bed, and C would be wavy uh, and medical grade. Right. Seems like a really good idea. So yeah, do you envisage this being like when you have a VR experience yeah. where there's eight or nine people? Sure. Would you envisage huh. them having like a series of Yes, um, we have what we call a CX1, which, which cleans one headset at once. We have other products. Um, this is um, our CX2. This cleans two at once. And uh, we also can clean four uh, or six. This is uh, a drawer. This is a drawer format. Oh, yes. And it opens and closes like this. So this one's built specifically for uh, untethered. Uh, but all of our products works for tethered or untethered. So we also have, um, you know, charging mechanisms as well as locking, you know, storage. What made you think of it? It's, it's clearly the forgotten end of virtual reality. <laughs> <It's>, we, <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. It's like the non-sexy part of, uh, of a very sexy industry, right? Yeah. Uh, so I like to say we like to keep you sexy. There we go. Um, really going back a number of years when I was thinking on a content creator side uh, of how to take um, entertainment and integrate it with education opportunities. And so I was a very large um, institution I was working with and pitching uh, an idea about immersive tech. And uh, w one of the problems we realized we had to solve before it was a problem was that of hygiene. Uh, the, the idea was if you have millions of people going through the same venues and putting something on their face, and head and then taking it and putting it on the next person's face and head because it's very intimate. Uh, you've got all sorts of contagions that you could share and all sorts of other hygiene issues that come up. Really, we, we approach it from a risk mitigation point of view. How can we protect the business and how can we keep the customers happy? Yes. Seems like a niche market <laughs> that you spotted. Yes, I, well, I, I think when it comes to where I see the, the industry going is there's so much opportunity in enterprise and healthcare specifically because the, the use cases are so broad. Um, and I think for a very successful deployment, uh, for a lar large deployment or a global deployment, I think a lot of the logistical side and operational side has to be addressed. And that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to help solve that pain point. <laughs>